Let's kick off. Um, welcome everybody to uh, another Nostra Twitter Spaces. Um, super excited for this one. Uh, we've got some of the team with us uh, today, and we're going to be talking about the Nostra uh, Alpha launch, or Nostra Money Market Alpha launch, should I say. Um, so yeah, super happy. We'll dive into some details and some uh, some thoughts around it. Um, but f before we begin, I guess everyone could just uh, intro yourself on stage. Start with David. Yeah, hey guys. Hello. Um, I think this is not the first one that we did, so some of you guys might already be familiar, but um, I'm one of the co-founders of Tempus and Nostra. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Tony? Jim, guys. I'm Tony. I'm the head of marketing at Nostra. I'm uh, very happy to be here. Very happy to be already borrowing and lending in the alpha version. Absolutely. Georgia? Yep. As David mentioned, there were some other spaces maybe you already uh, know. Uh, and I'm the other co founder of Tempus and Nostra. GM, everybody. Wag me. And George, Mr. George. Thanks, Richard. Yeah, I think I'm a familiar name and voice on this channel. Um, so I'm the head of research for Tempest and Nostra, and really happy to be here on the Alpha launch. Fantastic, fantastic. All right, let's uh, let's get stuck into it. Um, so yeah, as I kind of mentioned and alluded to, we've just uh, launched our money market Alpha on Starknet mainnet. And uh, it's really, really exciting times. We're so excited to like push it out and um, perhaps, uh, you know, George, you can perhaps expand on, you know, what this means a bit more around alpha and what we've, uh, what we've put out there in the, in the, the world. Sure. Thanks, Richard. So yes, as you have all seen, uh, we have launched the Nostra Alpha on Monday. And the idea is so people can get their hands-on uh, experience testing our protocol, uh, the money market, as part of which we need to ensure the, uh, the risk-less environment to make sure um, no one is gonna be uh, rocked by anything while the audit is waiting for completion. So during this time, we will be limiting the assets to ETH, USDC, USDT, DAI, and WBTC. And the maximum you can deposit into each asset is approximately five USD worth of tokens. Uh, for the testing, we also made WBTC into a unique asset here called isolated. Um, but when we go to production, that's mostly not going to be the case. Um, but we wanted to have something in every asset tier so people can test out the different functionalities. Thank you, Richard. Nice. Yeah, and, and just to just to expand on that too, you know, we've uh, we've launched on on mainnet. We've limited the deposit amounts. Um, you know, just just purely because you know our contracts are currently under audit and we don't, you know. We, we want to make sure that it's a safe environment as well for everybody. So it's, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe I can expand a little bit about why we chose mainnet instead of going to testnet, uh, like a bunch of other projects. I think like, um, I mean, as Richard said, like it, it is, um, we maybe limited deposits, um, just so that, you know, we limit the risk while this smart contract audit is ongoing. Um, and the Oracle situation is updated. So we're working with different Oracle providers. Current one is Empiric, um, but we are, you know, we're going to, be, going to be setting up with multiple Oracle providers and then trying to test with them uh, continually throughout and then just decide which one we're going to go with at the end. So that's, um, you know, like it, it, it makes it easier if we do that on mainnet in production rather than doing it on testnet. The other reason is like testnet kind of loses its value proposition if um, if mainnet is already already pretty cheap, so it costs you know a couple of cents to make a transaction on mainnet. So using testnet doesn't really doesn't really make too much sense. It can be a little bit painful. So just uh, using the production version of Startnet made a lot more sense to us. Yeah, absolutely. And you know that um, 
you know, I think uh, at the moment there's a bit of a, a waiting game for the Regenesis. I think that's a, that's the big sort of uh, event that we're all looking forward to, especially within the StarkNet ecosystem, where um, you know Starkware team will up- upgrade the um, VM compiler um, from Cairo to Rust. Um, perhaps Georgia, you could speak on that. You're, you're probably pretty closer to to that, or David. Yeah, uh, there is a bunch of uh, things on the Starkware's roadmap, and they have shared a blog post about it. So there are multiple things that will speed up the Starknet. One of them is sequencer parallelization, uh, which is already kind of uh, running on the mainnet, but it's going to be improved over the next several months. Uh, also, there is a full rewrite of Cairo VM in Rust that should speed up things significantly. And uh, the last one, which is the sequencer implementation in Rust, that one will uh, basically fill in the last piece of software rewritten in Rust and speed up by a lot. And this all will improve our UX significantly uh, compared to what we have right now. Yeah, so just uh, um, one more thing that's related to that. I can say that, you know, when you're trying out the UI right now, just have, just bear in mind that it was designed for sort of like a fast uh, execution speed and a very quick transaction speed. So we don't have the similar like pop-up style pending notifications like you would see on Ethereum mainnet because we're expecting the network to speed up significantly over the next couple of weeks and a couple of months. So those things wouldn't be needed at all. So, um, you know, just something to bear in mind. Yeah, thanks David. And, and you've, you've been in sort of recent conversations with the team, right? I mean, they seem pretty confident in the the scope of the the performance that they are expecting. Yeah, so we we have um, I think now we have like monthly calls with the with the Starkware team. So so we're trying to you know keep up to date with the recent developments. But uh, I think like we we do have confidence now that that uh, over the next couple of months things will will be improving significantly. And by the time that you know Cairo one point zero will be out and Regenesis comes, uh, the network will be in a very, very good shape, hopefully. Nice, nice. Um, cool, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, it's only been sort of two days uh, pretty much in earnest and, um, you know, just to reel over a couple of stats, like we, we've got, we've had about 500 users on on the, on the Nostra Money Market app already, which is which is pretty, pretty exciting, pretty, pretty nice. Um, so lots of the community getting involved, and I think people are excited around the ecosystem to get their hands on something on mainnet, which is uh, the first. Uh, let me let me say that it's the first money market on Starknet mainnet. So um, yeah, we are we're pretty happy with that that achievement. Um, I mean, the TVL is nothing to to write home about. You know, as I said, it's uh, it's limited to five dollars per per asset. Um, so we got you know three k all of three thousand. Dollars TVL, but that again, it's more the purpose of this is to to put it out in the open, get some feedback from the community, and and sort of you know make sure that we can iterate um, uh, as as we as fast as possible. Um, Georgia, do you want to just like touch on perhaps uh, the 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 audit audit that's under underway and perhaps some of the front end um, fixes that we we've been sort of optimizing for? Yes. Uh, yeah, we have ongoing trail of bits up the audit, which is like uh, happening. It will last until this Friday. It went uh, really smooth. Uh, uh, so there, there were some issues found, but nothing that uh, that is dangerous for this uh, even limited version of Alpha. And we worked really smoothly with the Trail of Beats team and we are very happy how we work together. Uh, that's on the, let's say, smart contract side. For the front end, uh, we try to release ver- versions every day, 
so there will be one release today which is uh, going to have some optimizations and it will speed up things a little bit on our side at least uh, and we had a bunch of small issues regarding RPCs and uh, they were resolved and yeah that's in short and we, we are going to keep community updated about our all the new features that front end will have uh, hopefully every day. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I think, um, you know, for us, we, we, we really wanted to get um, the alpha version out and we know it's not complete and there's some some rough, uh, you know, some things that we can optimize. And so, you know, we, we and, and, and that's, we only kind of find that out when the, the system's under strain, right? So when multiple people use it, we've already got loads of feedback from the community. And so um, the quicker we get it in people's hands, and, and we can try and break things, the, the more sort of we, we can find out. And, um, you know, that's why we'll, we'll probably do daily daily releases and that will pr hopefully slow down over, over the next week or so. Um, so yeah, yeah, pretty excited, pretty exciting times. Um, Tony, hey, uh, do you want to give us like a little like update on the community and how's it all looking over there? Yeah, sure. Well, uh, on the community side, uh, basically, I mean, I'm I'm still amazed by what we're doing, guys. This is uh, is great uh, having having all these people giving us this valuable constructive feedback, uh, helping us improve the product and and actually building it with us. It's is great. Um, just to give it some numbers, right? Like we're on the at the end of the year. This probably will be our our last Twitter Spaces. We launched less than a, less than four months ago. We announced to the world that we were building Nostra, and in this in these four months, we've grown to over fifteen thousand people on Discord and another fifteen thousand Twitter. Um, just want to point out that we haven't done any paid promotion whatsoever. We haven't paid. We haven't done any PR. We haven't done anything. This has been grassroots building community from from the base from solid foundations we we're getting very good contributors involved with the team we have in private community calls once a month and we and there's lots coming to the top contributors to the people that are more engaged we we're having even a, a familia poker world cup coming up in 2023 so if you consider yourself a gamer Feel welcome to join the Discord and and start playing. Uh, Tony, I think uh, we may have lost you. Hello, hello. Yes. Can you hear me now? Can hear you now. Yep. Yes, you're back. Yeah, where where did I stop? Where did I stop rambling? <laughs> I think it was a poker poker thing. Poker World Cup for gamers, right? <laughs> yeah, like uh, if you if you like ga uh, playing games, if you like uh, if, you're, if you if you consider yourself a bit of a gamer, we have the Poker World Cup coming in 2023. We have missions for designers, for meetup organizers, writers, analysts, translators. Like if you if you want to be a part of Web three, if you want to join this space. By all means, join the Discord because we want you in La Familia. Yeah, amazing. Uh, I, can I add something to that? Like, I think this sort of community approach that we've taken here sort of highlights like the uh, duality of the whole Nostra product and the protocol because we have this amazing community um, already, you know, pre-launch. But at the same time, we are, you know, a team that's extremely serious about building like the best possible, uh, most innovative product out there. And that, that's just as much as the money market that we've done, but also like, but also, you know, the Uno stable coin and then Nostra swap that will be, that'll be coming through. So just, uh, you know, a little bit of a shield to do check out our docs and, and stuff that's coming through. But uh, yeah, I think, I think maybe I can like, you know, Richard, maybe I can uh, go through the roadmap super quick and then yeah, and sure. present like what's the plan for, for the rest of the year and, and next year. Um, I guess this year is like, you know, December already. So 
we have reached the milestone of launching the alpha, which is what uh, what we had set out as our, as our target. And it's great that you guys are trying that out already. Um, and we'll be continuing to to fix stuff um, as we go through throughout the new year. Um, and then next year is going to be interesting because there's a bunch of different stuff happening, especially on, on Starkware's side where they're going to be pushing a bunch of updates. Uh, and we're kind of, as a project that's building on top of StarkNet, we're a little bit reliant on them to to push out all this stuff. And the most important of which is like uh, Regenesis. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with what that is, I would uh, recommend that you just go to, go to the... Um, Check out Starkware. Get more familiar with with what Starkware is doing because it basically impacts like all the projects and and potentially uh, funds that are currently also deposited to to uh, Starknet. So so do, do check that out. That will be coming out coming soon. And, and once the regenesis is over, I think um, and you know Cairo 1.0 is also out, which will come at sort of like a similar time. Uh, we will basically have to do a very quick re audit of our quote of our code uh, once we updated ourselves to, to Cairo 1.0. Um, and then once that's done, we will basically open source the code, open up, you know, grants and and the, the, the Nostra Familia fund to uh, all of our users um, and, and everybody else who wants to contribute and build on top of our products. And that's when we would be launching, you know, the, the, um, the money market uh, very soon after that. So um, and remove all the limitations that we currently have. And hopefully by that time, you will have fixed all the issues, uh, all the known issues, um, have a complete audit and everything else so that we can you know, hit the ground running. Um, just wanted to say that there's also a Starknet CC coming up in, um, or some similar Starknet event coming up in, in Tel Aviv in February. And if any of you guys are around, then uh, do come and check out our booth as well. And then um, so that's Q1 and then Q2 will be, um, you know, Uno will be coming out and, and Nostra Swap will be coming out uh, in Q2 shortly after the money market launch. So that's that's sort of our uh, short term roadmap. It's kind of condensed because we have a lot of stuff planned and don't want to waste too much time. So we're going fast, um, but super excited about the next uh, six months or so. Yeah, exciting times ahead. Um... Perfect, perfect. Um, well, I don't know if uh, anybody else has uh, some last words to say, but um, I, I would just like to just add that it's um, super exciting times for, for Nostra and the team. We've been sort of building this for the last uh, nearly six months, I guess. Um, definitely been about about four in earnest. And um, yeah, we, we, it lines us up perfectly for 2023. As we as we look to roll this out and uh, together with Starknet scaling up, so super exciting times. Yeah, and if you haven't already, guys, I, mean, I think we have like peak listeners right now. So come and uh, and check out the alpha. It's at alpha.nostra.finance, and then give us our thoughts in in Discord. Absolutely. All right. Well. I'd like to just end this with a, a wag me uh, and a GM. That's uh, that's how we that's how we acknowledge each other. <laughs> LFG, LFG, yes. all the acronyms. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thanks everyone for Hello, listening guys. and uh, yeah, catch up soon. If you have any questions, please drop up a message in Discord and then we'll we'll get to it. Thanks guys. Thanks, Thanks GM. Bye. Bye bye.